Today we'll be making paper bag puppets. Puppets are a great way to bring your characters to life. You can use them over and over again to act out different parts of your story, or you can even make a whole puppet show. Today I'll be showing you how to make this bear. Just remember, you can always pause or rewind the video if you need more time to complete any of the steps or if you'd like to see any of the steps again. So if you're ready, let's get started. We'll need a paper bag, colored in white paper, a glue stick, scissors, crayons, a pencil, and pipe cleaners. First, we'll make the top portion of the bear's head, which needs to line up with the bottom edge of the flap. Starting in the lower left corner, we're going to draw upwards and make two ears on the top corners and make our way back down to the opposite side of where we first started. Here's a better view of the shape I just drew. Using the edge of the bag as a guide, I'm drawing a line to connect the open ends of the drawing. Once my outline is finished, I can go ahead and cut it out. Remember to always be careful when using scissors. As a little tip, rotating both the scissors and paper will help you out when cutting tight corners. The next piece we'll cut out is the lower portion of the bear's head, which will be under the mouth flap. This will allow us to create the bear's chin and the inside of its mouth. From the lower right corner of the flap, I'm drawing a curved line to the lower left corner. Once again, using the bag edge as a guide, I'm drawing a vertical line to complete the shape. After cutting it out, I'm placing it back underneath the flap to make sure it's not sticking out from the sides of the bag. The next piece is the bear's belly, which kind of looks like an arched doorway. And to make this shape, I'm drawing a line like a candy cane from one edge of the paper. After cutting it out, I'm choosing where I want it on the bag and cutting off the excess. And now it's time to glue. To apply glue as close to the edge as possible, instead of placing it straight down, try angling the glue stick. Now give it a good press and let's move to the next step. Next up, I'm drawing the inside of the bear's mouth. To make sure it stays hidden under the flap, I'm marking right where the flap meets the paper. From this point, draw a U shape and color it in with your crayons. Using more than one color creates more depth. Do you notice how we can only see the inside of the mouth while the flap is up? So now that it's in place, go ahead and glue it down. Now the next part is my favorite. We'll be making the bear's facial features. I think the defining features of my bear are its eyes. I've gone ahead and cut out a circle to use for the two half moons that will be the bear's eyes. This doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use something like the bottom of a spice jar to trace out a circle. Now you can draw the irises or cut them out with paper. This is the method I used earlier to get the white circle. Basically, after folding a piece of paper, I cut a half moon along the folded line, and once I opened it, I had a round shape. But since I wanted my bear's eyes to be half open, I cut it in half. Here I'm gluing the irises to the white parts of the eyes. Look at all the different expressions these eyes can make. The bear can be angry. The bear can be sad. The bear can be creepy. But I don't want a bear that always looks creepy. I want a bear that looks grumpy. And now, after gluing the eyes on, there's no turning back. Now for the ears, I will be using crayons, and once again, I'm layering two different colors, red and orange. Don't you think blending the two colors makes it pop? Now before I stick the head onto the bag, I'll make sure that the bottom edge matches with the bottom edge of the flap. Now it's on to the bear's snout. I'm placing the red sheet of paper along the center of the bear's head because it'll help me decide how large I want the snout to be in proportion to the rest of the face. 
The spare snout kind of looks like a jelly bean, so any bean-shaped piece that you can make should work just fine. When gluing the snout, make sure not to put glue on the lower part, which will be hanging over the bottom part of the bear's face. Here I'm adding a few details to give the bear's face a little more character. Can you tell what we're missing here? Yep, it's finally time to make the bear's nose. I didn't want my bear's nose to be a perfect circle, so it ended up being a little bit more like a round blob. You can decide how you want yours to look. Go ahead and glue it on, and now we're finally down to making the bear's arms and paws. Here I'm folding the pipe cleaner in half and cutting it into two equal pieces. Now I'm cutting two squares that'll fit in the side folds of the bag. These will hold the arms in place. Make sure to add glue to the inner portion closest to the front side of the bag. Place the pipe cleaner over the glue and add a little more on top. Now add glue to the square and place it over the pipe cleaner. Try not to get any glue outside of the square because it'll make your bag stick together and that will make it hard for you to put your hand inside. Since I want two paws, I'll need to cut out four pieces in total. Each paw will have a front and a back piece. Here I'm gluing them together with a pipe cleaner in the middle. I'm giving it a good press and once I've done this to the other side, I've completed the final step. I think the bear is feeling a little camera shy. And now our puppet is finished. I hope you had a lot of fun making this bear and I hope you are able to make more puppets in the future for the characters that you've created in your stories. Have a great rest of your summer and take care.